Hello, this is Jennifer Bailey and in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to log in to your new WordPress website dashboard. Now there's two ways of doing this, so let me show you the first one. You need to type in your domain name, so I've got privatetutoring.me and here is my very basic site in front of us. You can then scroll down the screen and you'll come to a link that says login. Now if you click on that it will bring up the login page for your WordPress website. Now that's great if it's the first time you've logged in but usually when you start customizing your website you may want to take that link off. So let's just go back to the website again and this time what you need to do is type in your domain name and after it put forward slash WP hyphen admin and push enter on your keyboard. Now what we need to do is put the username and password in. Now if you used Fantastico Deluxe to install WordPress you would have created your own username and password and if you had the installation emailed to you there should be a copy of your username and password in it. If you used the quick install, however, you would have been emailed the password, even though you created your own username. Because I used the quick install for the second method, I have my email open. So if I go and check, so my username is Jennifer and my password is some sort of mixture of characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the password. So I'm going to highlight the password. Make sure you leave no spaces at the beginning or the end. Push Control C on your keyboard and then go to the password box and put Control V on your keyboard, which will enter the password in. I'm just going to type in my username. And then if you want it to remember you, you click in the Remember Me checkbox and then click Login. Now the pop-up that's just arrived on my screen is from RoboForm because I'm dreadful at remembering passwords. So I use RoboForm in order to remember all my passwords. So because I've created a new version of this website, I'm going to replace the one I have there. So basically RoboForm will remember my usernames and passwords for me. What I'll do is I'll put a link to RoboForm in the notes section. So if you're interested in finding out a bit more about it, it'll be there. But basically what happens is you enter a master password and it remembers all your other ones for you. Now there is a free a trial where you can have up to 10 username and passwords. So if you want to go and give it a try, then click on the link in the notes section and give it a try there. And the useful thing about it is it can be installed on multiple computers, which means that if I'm using um, a computer at work and I've got RoboForm installed, it means that it remembers all my usernames and passwords in there for me. Alternatively, you can get Chrome to remember your password for you. Right, back to business. So we're now logged in on the dashboard of WordPress and this is where we control every aspect of our WordPress website. Now in a later video I'm going to go through different parts of this dashboard to familiarise yourselves with it. But that's the end of this lecture for now. So by the end of this lecture you should now be able to log in to the dashboard on your new WordPress website. I'm Jennifer Bailey. Thank you for watching.